Jimmy, we didn't think we'd speak to you so soon, but we can't help it tonight. The match winner, I know it's a friendly, but that's still a big moment for you. Yeah, no, it's really nice. Um, I said before, um, I want to prioritise my defending and all that, and it's, it's only been the first week for me, but, you know, it's always, it's always nice to get a goal and, and then, you know, get into a habit of getting into good positions on the pitch and getting myself into that situation, so I'm really happy, yeah. Do you remember your last goal? Do you know when, when did you score last? <laughs> yeah, probably January for Barrow, maybe. Way back uh, early last season, so um, yeah, I'm not an often goal scorer, so maybe if I can get into the habit of that, it would be nice. Yeah, it's not about the goals and winning necessarily, but it, it doesn't do any harm. But, but for you, I suppose, playing 45 minutes alongside James Tarkovsky at the end of your first week with the first team, that must have been nice. Yeah, it, that, that's what it was all about for me, absolutely. Um, I've had a whole week of education with um, you know, Tarky, who's been in England international, Ben, who's been the captain um, for most of the season, and Longy, who's been Irish international. You know, how lucky am I to, to have that education off of them um, and then to top it off with playing alongside Tarky and seeing how he performs and what he does is is just incredible education for me. You're a Dundalk boy, they're the big rivals of Cork City, I'm told. Yeah, they, they, they <laughs> battle it out at the top of the table um, most seasons now, so I don't know if I got a little bit of hate from around the place. Um, yeah, yeah, no, they, they obviously Cork are in the middle of their season and Dundalk are doing really well too, so... So I'm, I'm a Dundalk boy, so I have to do my best for the town. I said I wouldn't mention it, but I'm going to, Jimmy. You yeah. celebrated, and I don't blame you. Anybody would have done. You're nearly <laughs> celebrating. I think the players are ready. Michael's up on the bench. He's going to tease you. I tried not to. I tried not to. But my mum and my sister were in the stands, so I couldn't help it. Um, I was contemplating a knee slide at one stage, um, but I tried my best to keep it in. Obviously, I, I, you get excited. You, you don't even know where you are. You're just happy to, to be involved in something like that. So... Yeah, no, that's just a little icing on the cake. I see your mum and your sister here, so a big night for your family as well. They've obviously, they're obviously still based in Ireland, I presume. Come down yeah, they, well, Dundalk's a three and a half hour drive away, so you know they've they've been staying up. You know, um, I've got unbelievable support from from my family that way. So yeah, in, in my mum's eyes, that's you know it's the biggest moment of her life probably. So that's, great. that's brilliant. Yeah, that's great. and just lastly, onwards and upwards. It's, as you said very sensibly, you know it's, it's a long road and slowly, slowly steps. But you've had a week with the first team. I presume you just want to, to have another taste of it. And and, and just keep yourself in and around it. Yeah, I just I just want to, to try and take in as much um, education and detail from the lads as I can. See, it's only been a week, so you, you know you take in as much information as you can do in that that short space of time. Um, but I'm really trying to listen to everyone and, and see what information I can gather and and try and improve my game that way. So hopefully in the future, if I get a couple more sessions in another game in, I'm, I'm only going to improve that way. Well done, Jim. Enjoy your evening. You deserve it. Thanks very much. Cheers.